Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna go over the TV masking effect. And uh, this channel is based on Final Cut Pro post-production video edits. So if you are interested in that, please consider subscribing because we got a lot of content coming soon. All right, now let's get right into the video. Okay, so here is our TV. Um, you can get any TV from Google and um, just save it to your laptop or your device and you can just use it in Final Cut Pro. But we are going to start off by masking the TV screen. So we are going to go to our mask in the effects tab and we're gonna go to our draw mask. I'm gonna place that on the TV screen. Now we're gonna zoom in so we can get a precise mask. I'm gonna fast forward so I won't waste you guys' time, but just take your time on the mask and make sure everything is lined up and as accurate as you can do it. All right, now once you've got your mask cut out, you are going to go to the Draw Mask tab right here and you're gonna to go to Invert Mask. So that will leave you with a black TV screen right here. Now, after that, you're gonna get your footage that you want placed in the TV screen. And you're just gonna drag that in your timeline. You can drag that below the clip, sorry. You can drag that below the clip and you can adjust it. You're gonna take the volume down. You can adjust the scale of it. Just the scale of it and let me play it back for you. This is a really cool effect and it's very simple. Um, it's, it's always works. This is really one of my go-to effects for music videos and things of that nature. But I'm going to give you guys a little secret because you guys were patient enough to stick around. Um, so we're going to add um, an even better effect to this. We're going to make this look even more interesting. So we're going to um, click on the bottom clip and click on the top clip at the same time. So you hold command while clicking on both clips. And we're going to right click on the clip and we're going to make it a new compound clip so you can name it whatever you want i'm going to name it tv so now this is one clip so what we're going to do here now is we're going to do a panning effect so we're going to add keyframes so you can add a keyframe to the position and you can add a keyframe to the scale and we're gonna start this off really close, about right here. And we're gonna bring it out until, okay, about right here. And we're gonna go back to 100. And we're gonna go back to zero right there. And we're gonna play it back from the beginning. We have a nice pan going on throughout the TV scene to make it look even more realistic. And you can just cut this off right here whenever it stops. So we can give you another look at that. That looks really good. All right, guys. I want to really thank you guys for tuning in and watching another tutorial. Comment uh, what other tutorials you would like to see. Um, if this video helped you out, 
um, like it, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, and we will be dropping a lot of content soon, so make sure to subscribe. All right, guys, have a great day. Thank you.